talk to a specialist in endometriosis. I think it's important. Hi, Dr. Rob Kiltz. We're out in nature today where things happen naturally and infertility is not natural. So many things cause infertility, but we don't know most of them. Unknown, unspecified, or idiopathic. One of the most common causes, I believe, is endometriosis, the silent cause. A significant number of women have endo and they don't know it. Is infertility silent? No, it's screaming at us, right? But the only way to know if you have endometriosis is to do a laparoscopy and look inside, but that's invasive. So endometriosis is an inflammatory disorder that happens so commonly in women in reproductive years. It's an inflammatory condition that we don't really know the cause. I believe there's a bowel component to it and maybe environmental factors or diet and stress all contribute to it along with our genetic predispositions. Again, a laparoscopy is the best way to identify it, but since everyone says you don't have it because you don't have pain or difficulty with your menstrual cycles, dysmenorrhea, or dyspareunia, which is pain with intercourse, we ignore it. But again, infertility is screaming at us and that's not silent. Talk to your gynecologist or your fertility doctor whether you may be suffering from this. We think endometriosis also may come from your menstrual cycles. The tissue that goes through the tubes may implant in the pelvis and cause other inflammation which may damage the tubes, the ovaries, the uterus, and ultimately your eggs and embryos. How do you treat it? Well, one is to change your diet. We talk a lot about keto and fasting. Look into it, you may find a lot of helpful information. The laparoscopy can be done to identify it, but also excise it or vaporize it. Talk to a specialist in endometriosis. I think it's important. But you can also do the medical treatment for endometriosis, which is either Oralissa or Lupron for at least two months with some letrozole. At CNY Fertility, we have a number of experts that talk about this and we can help give you some advice on that also. Many women do have children despite endometriosis, but if you're not conceiving or you're not implanting or you're miscarrying, then look into whether or not you may have endometriosis. It's a disease that isn't silent because being infertile is screaming at us. We talked about endometriosis today. Next week, we're gonna talk about polycystic ovarian syndrome and metabolic disorder. Join us, look forward to the conversation.